Hello, first grade. Today, for our math lesson, you will need out this lesson worksheet, 69A, out of your Thursday folder. Today, we're going to learn how to read a thermometer. You might say, Mrs. Fridges, where do you learn that? Well, you're right. We learned how to do it to the nearest 10 degrees. But today, we're going to learn how to read a thermometer to the nearest 2 degrees. You'll remember that many thermometers have two scales. One is called the Fahrenheit scale, which we always see with that capital F. And the other scale is called the Celsius scale. Because our temperature is usually reported on TV and in the newspaper and on our phones using the Fahrenheit scale, that is what we are going to use in class. So. As you can see on your sheet that you need to have in front of you, this is what a Fahrenheit thermometer is going to look like between negative 20 degrees and 110 degrees. I would like you to go ahead and point to the line at zero. Here's zero degrees right here. Go ahead and point to 30 degrees. And how about 70 degrees? When we count the marks between the tens, we're going to be counting by twos. When we're counting in between, we're counting by twos. After we reach zero, when we're going down, then we're going to count negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative ten, and you keep on going. Okay? Now, I want you to go ahead and we're going to look for 58 degrees. Now, how am I going to find 58 degrees on the thermometer? Well, if I'm looking for 58, I'm going to go and find the number 50. And now I'm going to count from by twos from 50 to find 58. So here's 50. Now we count by twos to get to 58. 52, 54, 56, 58. Okay, so it's that last line before you get to 60. Okay, now what about 36? 36 degrees. Well, you heard 30, so you're going to go to 30 first, and now you're going to count by twos until you get to 36. 32, 34, 36. So I would draw a line across there at 36. I would color the inside of the thermometer down. What about 82 degrees? 82 degrees. Well, I heard 80. So I'm going to start at 80 and now I'm going to count by twos. 82. What's that first line? How about 44? 44. 44 degrees. I'm going to start at 40, and I'm going to count up by twos until I get to 44. 42? 44. So that second dash up. My line will go across, so I color them down. What about 12? You can see in 12, I'm going to start at 10, aren't I, with that 1? And I have to count up by twos. So 10. 12. Ah, first line there. What about 90? Point to it. 90. Yep. And what about 28? 28 degrees. Find it and point to it. Where's 28 degrees? Twenty. Now let's count it by twos. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Okay. Now water freezes at thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do is we're going to point to the number thirty-two. Here's thirty, thirty-two. 
we're going to color this thermometer to show the temperature at which water freezes. So use your pencil to draw a line across your thermometer at 32. And then what you're going to do is you're going to color the thermometer to show the temperature beginning at the bottom. If you want to use a red crayon or colored pencil, just like most thermometers use, you're welcome to do that. They have mercury in them, so that's why there's a red. And you'll notice when I'm coloring this in, I'm only coloring that inside part. I'm not coloring out where those tick marks are. And it's really important that I stop where my line was. Okay, so that is 32 degrees. Now you're going to have a chance for just a few minutes to read and color some thermometers. So let's turn our paper over and let's check it out. On this first one, these first few, we need to go ahead and we need to see what temperature it is at. So I'm going to actually move this over a little bit and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for us. All right, here we go. So I'm going up, up, up. I noticed that we're in between 70 and 80. So I'm going to start at 70 and I'm going to count by twos. 70, 72. So at the bottom here, I'm going to write 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The degree is just like a little circle or a little zero that goes right above by the top of the number and then a capital F for Fahrenheit. Okay. Next one. Looks like it's in between 30 and 40. So I'm going to start at 30 and I'm going to count by twos. 32, 34. So I need to write 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the last one uh, that we have to figure out what the temperature is. It looks like it's in between 50 and 60. So I'm going to start at 50 and I'm going to count by twos until I get to the line. So 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, these next three, we have to do the work. Okay, so these three, we have to fill in these temperatures that are right here. So 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, 46 is going to be in between 40 and 50, right? So we have to go to 40 and we have to count by twos until we get to 46. 42, 44, 46. So it was that third line. We're going to draw a line straight across there. If you want to make it like this so it's easier for you to see for right now, that's okay. Then you're going to shade it in. You're welcome to either um, you'll either have to use your pencil or you can use a red crayon. Okay, 46. The next one is 74. So 74. I have to start at 70. And I'm going to count by two, so I get 74. 72, 74. It's that second set of, tal of tick marks, or whatever you'd like to call them. And then go ahead and shade in. Shade in from the bottom up. I did it wrong showing you from the top down on the last one. Go from the bottom up and work on only shading it in those little uh, the little area in the middle. Okay? And then 28 degrees. 28. You're going to start at 20 and you're going to go up by twos. 22. 24, 26, 28. It's that last set 
40 to 30. Put your line across with your pencil and then either using your pencil or your red crayon or red colored pencil, go ahead and shade that in. Okay, wonderful work. Could you please do me a favor and make sure that your name is on this paper? And then this sheet can actually go right into your Thursday folder so I can take a look and make sure that you have it all done correctly.